So today's video is going to be the difference in conditioners. We have leave-ins, regular conditioners, and deep conditioners. Um, what's the difference? Episode 1 of Natural Hair Knowledge. What's up guys? It's your girl Chocolate Curls, also known as Amari Elisa on my socials, Instagram and Twitter. And today's video is going to be a learning video. What's up to all of my returning subscribers, all my subbies, all you people that have already subscribed, already clicked the bell to be notified. What's up guys? I'm back with another video. And if you are new here, there's no need to be new. Welcome to the family. Go ahead and click that button right now. Subscribe below, click the bell to be notified for all new uploads. Welcome guys, I am going to jump right into the video, so I hope you guys enjoy. I won't be doing a tutorial, but I'm gonna be teaching you a few things. So, being that it's not a tutorial, I wanna give these videos kind of a name because this is something that I'm gonna be doing. So should I call it like curly girl tips? Nah, my subscribers aren't just girls. I have some guys, so natural hair knowledge natural hair knowledge i'm going to be doing a series of some natural hair knowledge that i'm going to be dropping for you guys because i mean you do ask me a lot of questions and some of it is basic knowledge you know to some but to others it isn't and this is where you're going to learn that basic knowledge by watching these videos this is the official official episode one of natural hair knowledge First, I'm going to show you guys how you should be able to recognize what the product is by looking at the bottle. So I'm going to start with conditioners. Conditioners will only say conditioner on it. And then with leave-in conditioners, It will literally say leave in conditioner at some point, like leave in conditioner. Some of them may be a bit more complicated. They may be three in ones like this one right here. So this one is by main choice. It's a three in one conditioner. It's a co-wash, a leave in and a detangler. But because it says leave in, that's what I'm mainly gonna use it for. So this is another one of those leave in conditioners. And lastly, we have deep conditioners. So, so with deep conditioners, it'll most likely say that it is a mask. So a lot of them say mask. Some say deep conditioner or deep conditioning mask or something like that. But like this one right here, which is also our main choice. is a herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration mask, but it is a deep conditioner. And one of my favorites, this is by Shea Moisture, and it also says that it is a mask. So you wanna use these products for the right reasons. Um, I have a few friends that have put regular conditioner in their hair and just left it there as a leave-in and that's not the right way to go. Some people think that leave-in conditioner is just leaving in some conditioner. And that is the main reason I'm making this video because that's not what this is. There are products that are made to condition your hair but you leave them in. Conditioners are just made to condition and moisturize your hair. Let's just stop there. So a deep conditioner is going to deeply moisturize your hair. But you're gonna rinse that out. So right? let's talk about the textures of each. Leave-in conditioners are, I feel like they have the lightest texture or the thinnest texture. So I'm going to show you. So this is my leave-in. You can't even see it. It just spread on my hand nice and easily. Then we have conditioners, which are also thick in a way. Well, thicker than my leave-in here. So this is my conditioner. And then my deep conditioner, you want it to kind of be like a pudding almost. You, I like my deep conditioners 
super, super thick because then they really, really moisturize my hair. So this is my deep conditioner right here. And even like, it's super stiff. So that is the difference in the products. My leave-in is a lot more water-based and it is a lot lighter on the hair. My deep conditioner is a bit thicker and then my deep conditioner is going to be the thickest of them all. Okay, now I'm gonna get into how I use each one of them for the best results. Almost every time I wash my hair, I'm going to deep condition it and sometimes even if I don't wash my hair, I'm gonna deep condition it. I like to use my deep conditioners at least once a week when I'm wearing my hair and I like to wash my hair with shampoo maybe once a month. So even if you aren't washing your hair, you're going to want to try and deep condition at least once a week before doing a new style because that's just going to keep your hair moisturized and healthy. It's going to keep it nourished. If you're complaining about dry hair, um, brittle hair, your curls aren't popping, any of that, you need to start deep conditioning because what your hair is lacking 10 times out of 10 is some moisture. You can also use some products to get your hair to be defined, but I feel like deep conditioning is like step number one. With my conditioner, I feel like I condition just as much as I shampoo. So I condition my hair maybe once a month with regular conditioner. And sometimes I will put the conditioner on first before washing my hair because like shampoos a lot of times can strip your hair of the natural moistures and it can make it dry and things like that. So I kind of just try and nourish my hair just a little bit before washing it because of course, I'm always gonna follow up with my deep conditioner. I deep condition for maybe an hour at a time or two hours in. This, I probably leave in for less than 10 minutes. My regular conditioner, less than 10 minutes. My deep conditioner, an hour. They both get rinsed out. That's what makes them different from a leave-in. Leave-ins do not need to get rinsed out. So, with my leave-in conditioner, 10 times out of 10, this is gonna be the first product I put on my hair after I finished washing it, finished conditioning it, finished deep conditioning it, all of that, I'm gonna put a leave-in in. That's in whether I am doing a wash and go, a twist out, a braid out, any style that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a leave-in in my hair because I just need to moisturize it. Like, that's just that on that. Like, if you watch my videos, you will know that I put my leave-ins in after washing my hair. I'm freshly washed, freshly damp, all of that my leave-in okay, this is something that you can leave in and put on daily as much as you want and leave it in your hair and allow it to condition your hair daily i'm not going to go into how i put it on my hair because i honestly have videos of me using these exact products already but i hope you guys enjoyed whatever else you want me to cover or that you don't understand there's no such thing as a silly question if you're truly curious about something ask i will do a video on it because 10 times out of 10, you're not the only one who's confused about that. Like, feel free to comment below or reach out to me on my socials. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this video was informative. Stay on the lookout for Natural Hair Knowledge Series 2, Episode 2. Episode 2? I don't know. Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Period. Um, It's not a video if I don't say period. Bye, guys.